Hi, my name is Rob. I'm from APSGardenMachinery.com, and I just want to explain about the FS, the Steel FS70 bike handle, and how to start it. Um, to just go through from the, from the from the left or from your right to the left, or vice versa. Um, the recoil engine here has an ergo start system to allow you to pull the recoil at third of the strength that you normally would pull on a standard swimmer due to it has a extra spring in there so when you start pulling the recoil up it generates power in that recoil so it compresses and then at a certain point it releases and that energy that is built up then turns the crankshaft towards the bottom piston to get it going. It has a three point setting which I'll show you here. It has a full choke uh, which you push in and twist all the way to the top, which is full choke, a half choke and normal run. Now the idea of this is when you use the full choke is on the cold frosty mornings that we get in April, May and a little bit of June. Um, and then from there you just start on the half choke and then uh, once it starts about what, 10, 10 seconds, you just squeeze the trigger and it resets. So if I put that on half choke, and I'll squeeze that trigger, you hear the click, that's gone on to normal run. And what that does, that just kind of makes it, excuse me, that just kind of uh, resets it so you don't run it on half choke and flood the engine. Now the idea with a full choke, I'll go back to the full choke idea, is when you, with the prime, sorry, I mentioned you've got a primer bulb there as well. And I'll go through it, I'm gonna start this up for you and just show you how comfortable it is to start. Uh, with the full choke, it, all you want to hear is a cough, and that's an indication you're ready to start the re, the um, strimmer itself. Don't try and start it and start it and wait for it to start. You won't. You, all you do, you're going to flood the carburetor, and then you have to wait for it to dry. So when you hear that cough, you you know, or or it may have caught and it just pitters out and stops. That is another indication. You pull it on half choke. You then prime it with a primer bowl, and what the primer does as well, it kind of, it draws the petrol from the tank into the carburetor, just helps it to get to the from A to B. And then pull the recoil and away she goes. And after about 10, 10, 15 seconds, once once the strimmer's warmed up, you squeeze the trigger, and that's it. The beauty of the position of the handle here is you've got the trigger to your right hand and you've got the on and off switch right on your thumb. And it's always preset on the on position. So when you click it, it's off and it goes back onto the on position. The idea with the bike handle is for somebody who's going to be doing, not loads and loads of areas, but you've got a bit of area to cut and you're in a proper posture. Um, the loop handle that you get, which is here, is your, your bending over. So when you're standing upright, your posture's there and, and it, and it uh, feels more comfortable. You do get a full blow, universal steel harness. And as you can see, the way it's designed, when this sits on you, it's, the weight will be spread all over through the shoulder and right around the back. And you'll have a waist strap here as well, so it pulls it all in. And that actually keeps your posture right. So when you're actually strimming, you, you really feel embraced and properly um, upright. And I'll show you how I put this on in a minute. When it comes to the strimmer head, what you get with this, which is a great shout, you get a 2.4 strimmer nylon head with the strimmer um, spool, the uh, auto feed, and the self feed easy feed which I do explain on my other videos how to rewind so if you do come to a point where you need to find out I can't remember what Rob said or whatever just go back to my video and you see it there and I'll help you with that. You also get a metal blade which is standard. Now these metal blades are to kind of be like your mowing blade they're not to do bramble or, or I'm not, not going to say it doesn't because I have heard in the grapevine and I have had customers come back to me so I have used this and it just takes that a little bit longer. You know, if you, if you was to put 
against one of these with a metal blade, you, you get through the job a lot quicker because it's got more power to the engine. Um, but I have heard people do use this and they do put the bigger blades on as well. But generally what these are for is just so that if you've got a vast amount of grass that you want to get through, you'll get through a lot quicker. Again, I have heard some people, uh, and I won't look at you can upgrade this 2.4 to 2.7 mil if you wish. Um, with this also you get another guard and the idea is you put this guard on here, that's all it is, it's, you get the combi spanner as well, all you do is un undo the screw here, and replace it with that, you get the combi spanner with that and you get a uh, safety glasses. Also which is a great thing as well, I do show you on my other video, you get with it as well is the assembly uh, blade, bolt, nut and bolt, which is very important that you put it on the right way so i'll just quickly show you when you put the blade on that goes on top this is a rider plate that goes on there and the idea of this rider plate is it protects the nut so you don't round off the nut when you're working close to the ground because if you didn't have that on there you have trouble getting this nut off but again i'll show you that on my other video all right so let's go back to how we're going to start this so as I was explaining to you earlier, how to start this, it's really, really simple and easy and it's really, just makes life a lot, lot, lot easier out there when you're doing it. I'll just put these down. Right. I do use, and I do favour the green HP Super engine oil, purely because it, it stabilises the petrol. Again, I'll show that in my video and explain the reason why. Um, it just is very healthy, fully engine, believe it or not, petrol being healthy, but yes it is, it's good for the environment, it's non-smokeless, and it stabilises the petrol and keeps this petrol fresh for more than three months, up to two years, so got one of these, put this in your shed, you can, don't have to worry about using it very quickly. Okay, I'll do it that now if you don't. Right, so, I'm going to go through the procedure with you on, on this, and so we're going to start I'll put this on the floor, you should be able to see me do it from there. Um, I will put it on the full choke. Now this, is, this, is, this is brand new, so this may take a few extra pulls, but it will kick in. Um, so I've got it on full choke. I'll give it a few squirts. Make sure the petrol's going through. Yep, petrol's in the bubble, in the uh, primer bulb. Okay, so then I'll give it a few pulls. And if you can see, I'm not really yanking this really hard. My left hand's here, and all I'm doing is... I've let that run to show you about what it's trying to do. It's trying to get going. Doesn't mean oh, I've got to try and restart it quickly. That's an indication. Sometimes when it's really cold, remember, we're in my showroom here, and this is warm so it's he's cool but he wants to carry on but he can't so what i'll do next is put it on half choke now that's your indication sorry so that'd be your indication right put it on half choke give it a few more pulls and not uh, a few more uh, sorry a few more pumps on the primer bulb and now i'll give it a pull how simple and easy it is to start an FS70 bike handle trimmer. Um, still is like that throughout their machines, that's why they're so reliable and so popular worldwide. Um, I'll quickly show you about the harness. So here we go, here's the harness. Put this over your shoulder, this one over here. And you've got straps either side, so you pull these it's always best to really make sure this is nice and snug. That's on there, just comfortable. And the idea is you've got a hook here and that will go onto this little loop here, just onto the side. Just need to just twist it and it drops in there and that's it. You can adjust these handles with your combi spanner because you've got the bolts here. But you know, that's 
good as you can get it. And I'm really comfortable with that. It takes all the weight off the strimmer. And basically, I'm just using my fingers here just to guide it. I'm not lifting this at all. And I feel that this weight is spread right around every part of my body, not in one area. So for me, that I could work with this for half an hour or more. Thank you very much. Uh, if there's any questions, um, if you can look at my website, APSGardenMachinery.com, got some great prices on there. Uh, I'm more than happy to help anybody that any questions, just email me. I'm all